take a trip to a magical place Read a book and feel the sun on your face Learn something new and make a friend or two Cause in Danica's dream house all your dreams come true Hi guys, it's me, Danica from Danica's dream house And I'm the little girl that lives inside a real life size dream house It is so much fun and we are going to do many fun things today But before we get started I would like to take you to a trip to outer space. Would you like, like, oh, <laughs> bing bong. Would you guys like to visit me in my science lab where we can learn about the rotation of the Earth? <laughs> Let's get to it. Beluga bass, open the house. Whoa. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> in my dream house. It is so exciting because today I am making the rotation of the Earth around the sun and the moon. It's going to be so much fun. But before we get started, I think I'm going to need to put on my thinking cap so that I have all the information that I need. Wow, it's so cool. Do you guys have a thinking cap at home? If not, be sure to include everything that inspires you to make sure you have a bunch of ideas that you will love. But now, let's get started on the rotation of the Earth by Kiwiko. I've got my facts, my ideas, and now I'm ready to get started. It is so much fun. So, let's get started, yeah! We are going to take the little ball and we are going to take the green sticker packet because these are going to be the... Woo! <laughs> these are going to be the green spots on the earth. Now, let's put this down and we're gonna grab some stickers. We're going to take this sticker and we're going to put it maybe in the middle right here. So cute! Now let's take another sticker. I'm going to go with the one on the other corner, right here. And we'll put it on the top. Flatten it down. And there we go. It looks so cute! <laughs> Next one, this one. I'm going to go for the middle one. It kind of looks like a triangle. Let's see, and it's so cute. Triangle. Oh, I see this one. Oh, this one looks like America. Let's see, and we'll put it on here. Now, I think the earth is all done. Let's stick it in the middle of our school gear. There we go. Now, I'm, oh, I'm going to take the little moon. Now, I'm going to put it next to the earth. Do you guys like learning about science? What well, might you put on your thinking cap so that you can have many ideas? Make sure to leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear your ideas. Now, let's take the sun, and there's a little light inside. So let's take the little plastic stick out of the light, and it lights up, Well, that's so cool. Now we're going to take the other half, and we're going to put it right here. <laughs> I think we're all finished. Now we can rotate the Earth and the Moon so that it will go from night to day on each side of the world. Oh, it's so cool. Did you guys know that if the Earth suddenly stopped spinning, the whole world would tilt and it would go 1,600 kilometers per hour? We will never know what hit us. We will go down to space. Now I can rotate the actual Earth. Wow, 
I never thought I would be controlling the earth, but <laughs> now I am on a piece of cardboard. <laughs> Did you guys know that when the Earth spins around the sun, the moon is still spinning around with it? It's so crazy, and it takes a whole year. Even though we don't know that we're moving, we're flying through space all the time. I just love learning about our planets and the planets beyond. What do you guys like learning about in science? Maybe it's chemistry, maybe it's potions. Leave it down in the comments below. I would love to hear all about it. Speaking of potions, I think I'm going to play with them right now. It is so much fun. Let's see here, there, and then take a little bit of pink, put it in the blue. Ooh, making a pretty color. See the red. Ooh, and then. The Purple. Whoa! It's going to have a chemical reaction in three, two, one. Woo! I've been reading an amazing book in my book now. You guys want to come check it out with me? Let's go! This week I've been reading the scariest book. It's called Goosebumps and the Ghost of Slappy by R. L. Stein. <laughs> it starts off as a boy, just a normal boy, getting ready for his field trip. But he hears some crazy weird noises. It's the ghost of Slappy! <laughs> He's getting ready for his field trip. He hops on the bus and the ghost of Slappy walks in. Slappy is moving the whole bus and all the kids think the teacher is playing a prank on them. So they get to their field trip destination and then weird things start happening. They try to go to sleep, but they keep hearing strange noises from Slappy the ghost. They try to go to sleep, but it's not really working out for them because they hear way too many noises. A boy wakes up in the middle of the night and, well, he saw Slappy the ghost. Well, at least he thought he saw Slappy the ghost. And then it was actually the teacher playing the prank on them. The campers hear way too many noises in the middle of the night, so they try to escape the camp. But that ends up backfiring because Slappy traps them inside a graveyard. Ghosts and skeletons keep chasing them. My giddies were even scareder than I was. Scareder? Is that even a word? <laughs> Whatever. It ends off with them finally escaping the graveyard. Whew, it was such a relief. I thought Slappy was actually going to kill them. Like, literally going to kill them. But thank God he didn't. What was your scariest moment? Make sure you leave a comment down below. I'm so excited to read all your comments. I just came up with an idea. My giddies were so scared, I'm gonna scare them again. The Ghost of Slappy, part one. I hope you guys loved and enjoyed this week's episode. Believe